Hey guys, welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 for Rent. And thanks to EA for giving us early access to check out this pack. Just as a reminder, this is not final software. So that's why you'll see my name darting around the screen. It is super early in the morning. It's our first day of school, first day of work. It's like 4.30 in the morning. Also just a side note, I love these little lanterns along the street and the street signs. It's very pretty. Woody being the great tenant that he is, is already studying up on handiness, getting ready for his new job and Oppa, once he uses the squat toilet, we are going to make some rice for breakfast. So we could make nasi lemak, kya nyao, mamuing. Oh yum, that's a mango sticky rice. I've never had that before, but I would love to try it. It's a great sweet dessert, or it can be just as good as a morning meal. The samosa soup, yum, or just plain steamed rice. Let's do the sticky mango, because that sounds amazing. Don't eat the fruitcake. You don't like fruitcake, Dewey. Also remember Dewey, uh, I was saying gets bored easily. This is crazy because it literally says she is bored because she's tea deprived. She loves secrets and snooping as entertainment. You did not like this fruitcake in the last part. Oh my gosh, I haven't given them new pajamas. Oh no, I totally forgot about that. I was too excited to record this part. I promise in the next part we'll have nice pajamas. So this says cooking is in progress. That's handy. Dewey, stop getting this dang fruit cake you hate. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, okay. So Buddy, whilst studying handiness skill, also put on rice before Oppa got to make the sticky rice. The so Buddy is a multitasking king. Let's release the steam vent, get that rice out. And Oppa, I guess you can just clean that up. Buddy's off to work. Dewey's getting uh, some really poorly made looking rice. But you know what? Buddy tried. This is why you shouldn't multitask. <laughs> If we go down here to Buddy's work, it's interesting we can actually redecorate an area, which will increase work performance, but decreases fun. Maybe we should do that. Let's teach an important lesson to Dewey before Dewey heads off to her first day of school. Offer some wisdom. I'm not sure how Dewey will take it, if she'll enjoy the wisdom, but he means well. Okay, she looks really bored. She's like, okay, Oppa. Thanks for the wisdom. Let's ask for some reassurance and share insecurities because she's also, feeling a drift from Tomorani culture. Okay, let's maybe leave some fruit and incense before we head off to school so she can just feel a little bit better about Tomorani culture. There we go, we've got the incense going. She's feeling happy other than a bit bored from the wise advice she just got grown zone. And maybe we'll wash hands after eating a couple of times just to lift that hygiene, get us in the most best Mood, most best mood, the best mood possible for school. And I think we should definitely try and make some friends while we're at school. You know, we're in a new town. And then Oppa, do you want to maybe grab a serving here? And what does Oppa want to do today? He wants to use his Tomorani introduction more. <gasps> Guys, we have some mold. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't believe I get excited about mold these days. Allergenic mold pile. I'll Damn. So we can clean it. We can deploy it using a bomb. Oh my lord, that will cost us 750 simoleons. How bad does this mold get so that you'd have to spend that much money on a be gone bomb? <laughs> it must get pretty bad. Or we could try and destroy it with fire. Being right next to a rug, I feel like this is not a good idea. I kind of want to leave it just to see what happens. Yeah, let's just leave it for a little while. And then once we've had a shower, I think uh, grandpa could go and enjoy the world, see the sights and delights. Maybe we can find a spot to go swim. I think it's said that there were beaches around here. So let's have a look around. I also wanted to just check out these buildings. Oh, that's a cool one. We should do some builds that look like these houses so they like work with the world really nicely. They're very pretty. I like these too. Yeah, I want to live in townhouses like these ones. Okay, we've got a sculpture over here of a tiger, which makes sense when you're a tire sanctuary. And it'd be nice for Oppa to take Dewey, I think, to the sanctuary. Who's out here swimming? Is that our neighbor, Chan Lin? Well, why don't we, uh, you know, wade out into the water, go for a gorgeous morning swim? I mean, if this was down the road, this paradise, tell me you wouldn't go swimming here. This place is stunning. Whoa, there's a stingray in the water. That is a stingray. And this is a fellow elder. How, did we meet you in the last part? 
I don't think we did. So maybe we should also do a Tomorani introduction. Oh, Buddy brought home 80 Smolians today. He did a superb job. Appa says hello. Maybe this can be his elder best friend. What happens if you share life experiences with another elder? Are they going to enjoy the stories more? Because I feel like in real life, elder to elder, they appreciate wisdom, you know? They can relate to it. What options are under rental? Oh, he didn't like that? Okay, I guess my theory was incorrect. Now, I wonder if this is a neighbor because he can suggest hosting a gift charity drive. Oh, and he just released a lantern. That was cute. He enjoys doing cultural activities, socializing with community, participating in local events. He'll feel sad when it's been too long since they've had a chance to do most of those things. All right, it's time to do good with a charity drive. Call the property owner to take part and donate items to share generosity. Property owner visit. The property owner is arriving to fix all that is wrong. Oh, are they here to fix the mold? Like without us having to call them? Oh, wow, and he's got his full get up. If you guys are enjoying this pack or if you're interested in any other Sims title, you can now support me as a creator by using my creator code Deligracy. You can use it in the EA app when you purchase a Sims title or on thesims.com. All you have to do is enter my code word Deligracy at the checkout in the promo code section. Thank you guys so much for your support and also thank you to EA for sponsoring this part of the video. Let's see. I don't, I feel like we didn't, he didn't really like us that much. Like we were trying too hard. We were too keen in the last part. Okay, welcome. And I actually think we wanted the property owner to visit. We did. Is he here to get the trash? He's leaving? He's doing push-ups. How strange. How very strange. Would he stop jumping in the trash? I'm deliberately not going to pick it up because I just want to see if the property manager will do anything. I mean, we have a very high unit rating, so I sense this property manager is quite good. Yet he's talking about crabs to us and judging by our reaction, maybe he's talking about like, we're crabs. Okay, you gonna do anything or just sit there twiddling your thumbs? Oh, he is cleaning up the trash. Are you telling me? He came to our house because he heard we had some trash to take out. No wonder this unit rating is quite high. Although he is avoiding the mold that's in this house. Maybe he's like, uh, I can't be bothered dealing with that. I'll just take out the trash. All right, let's read some more handiness skill book because we want to get that level up. Are you going to deal with the mold? He walked straight through the mold. He didn't do anything about it. Uh, Job well done. Taking the trash out. Best guy ever. Walking through the mold again. Oh my. Woody is feeling dazed. Sporiosis from allergenic mold outbreak. Buddy feels funny from the weird growth sporadically infesting his home. The moral of the story is these mold piles are no good. Wow, okay, we're getting sick from the mold very quickly. Perhaps we should actually call the property owner to visit to tick it off our list. Because it doesn't seem like the property owner coming over on their own account is uh, ticking this off our aspiration list. Oh, I just realized we have to donate to charity. So we can do that via the mailbox or just straight from our inventory. Do we have any free books here? We do. I thought we donate a couple of books, all right? Mail item for charity, mail item for charity. We'll put them into our letterbox. Oh, we are, we are such a good sim. Dewey has met Zahafira while at school and she also has the same hair. Can we complain about our apartment? Let's complain about the conditions. So there's mold in the house, you came over, you didn't even clean it up, you just took out our trash and I feel like our unit rating's just gone down because of this. Don't exercise on the mold! What is with these guys doing their push-ups? Like, what is this? Is this some maintenance handyman business they do? I'm gonna send you home and invite you back. Let's try this again. Call property owner to visit and we'll see if this ticks off the aspiration. Hello, yes, I know we just saw you, but I wanna give you a second chance to do the right thing and clean up this mold. The property owner is arriving to fix all that is wrong. I'll believe that when I see it. Okay, that still hasn't ticked it off the list. I wonder if the aspiration's broken. Well, we'll ask how Dewey is. And I actually think Woody needs a little bit of a nap. Dewey needs a bit of a shower. And after a day of school, perhaps Dewey would like to discover some secrets. Snoop secrets eavesdrop on Sims. Can we spy on these guys? Spy on Arturo, see if we can find out any secrets that way. Where are we gonna spy from? Oh, that's tricky. We're going around the side. Are we gonna spy over the bush? Oh, look at that. Look at the stealth. 
Mm, doesn't look like we learnt any secrets. And we pry this guy for secrets. So, you own this place, I hear. Got a pretty high unit rating for a place with a mold problem. Yeah, we know about that problem. Trashy habit. Oh, wow. You're telling me you've never gone over to a neighbor's house to use their trash can. He was picking up our trash, which was weird. Taking out the trash can be such a hassle. All I want to do is get rid of all these gross water cups. My house guests left everywhere or maybe a spoiled grilled cheese once in a while. Sometimes I can't even be bothered to wash those dishes. I just need them gone. So if my trash is full, I'll just pop over to their trash can real quick and drop all the dishes in. They've never noticed anyways. Oh my gosh. So he probably picked up the trash on our floor to cover up the fact that he was putting his trash in our bin. This guy is dodgy. How did he get the high unit rating is my question. Don't give him a high five. Let's confront him about this secret. Did he know what you were actually doing in our house? You were pretending to come and fix problems, but we know you did not. Now that the secret is known, Dewey can choose to inform Panya that she will hold onto the secret forever or blackmail him to keep the secret for cold hard simoleons. Yes, let's get some money from this guy. I know your secret. Do you want me to tell my dad or not? Pay up, buddy. We just got $100 and acquired the mischief skill. Dewey, damn. A buddy can study up on the handiness skill. I really wanna look at this tasty mango rice. Let's grab all of these servings. Oh no, Op is now dazed from the mold. Okay, let's cook this kanya mamuing. Let's chop that off. Don't you put stuff in the rice cooker when we're using it, buddy. Why does he keep doing that? <sighs> It's like every time Oppa tries to cook, Woody's like, you shouldn't be cooking, old man. Let me do it. But I just want to see the mango rice. Hey, Chan's hanging out here. Okay, we need to clean up this mold. I wanted to see what happens if you leave it there, but not if Oppa's getting sick. Oh, wow, he's putting on a mask and everything. I mean, I appreciate the uh, safety precautions. This is clearly a big job. Mold can be a serious problem. I'm just curious to see how he actually gets rid of the mold by sitting directly in it. I think you're actually scrubbing the wrong bit of the floor. <laughs> he's like literally sitting in the mold. Oh, man. Okay, well, at least it's all gone now. Maybe... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get you some new clothes. Let's get Oppa into bed. The good news is Oppa's already up to the next level of his aspiration. If he completes his aspiration, he becomes a Tomarang expert, which means he'll be better at cooking Tomarani cuisine, finding tassels, getting along with Sims with the child of the village trait, and he'll also be more successful when exploring the Sulia Tiger Sanctuary and the cave at Beard Beard Cove. We've got to find this Beard Beard Cove. Okay, we've reached handiness level two. Excellent. We only need to level up one more. And thanks to our charity gift drive, our unit rating has gone up. Let's see if it's visually gone up in our tenant agreement. Still four out of five stars. And I think the fact we had to clean up our own mold is not very good maintenance because I think that's more reflective of what the landlord does than what the tenant does. But I have to say it's not very clear either. I will resume in the morning. It is the morning and I'm going to get Oppa to resume this mango rice. Thankfully, Buddy is asleep in bed, so he's not going to interrupt again. Let the man cook, for goodness sake. So in it goes and hopefully it'll turn out okay. Okay, buddy, let's work from home today. Okay, one thing they need to fix is when the rice cooker is being prepped, can the sim stop grabbing food out of the fridge over and over again? The rice cooker says it's poor, but it looks like it's complete. So let's release that steam vent. There is nothing that tastes as good as rice cooker rice. It is so good. It's just always perfect every time, especially jasmine rice in the rice cooker. Mm, why is rice so good? Okay, let's grab a serving of this. Now, the, the first serving will look bad because it's the first time we've made it. But apart from the dark spots, I get the idea of what this is. You got some mango there, maybe some banana leaves on the side. Oh, excellent. Something's broken. I mean, it's not excellent that something's broken but the fact that we can repair it or call the property owner to visit. Will this maybe tick that off the list? Otherwise, I would love to fix it ourselves. I wonder if the property owner will fix it. Let's put this trash away ourselves. Okay, see you, Dewey. Have a good day at school, my love. Let's make some more friends. Okay, we are going to have to find a toilet somewhere else or else we're going to pee our pants. There's a poo-hoo bush when you need one. Oh, no. Oh, no, we didn't make it. He peed himself. That is devastating. Oh, 
Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. Okay, quickly have a shower. We'll try the property owner after you've had a shower. That's just awful. Oh, we can scrub off our spores too. Let's scrub off those spores. And that'll hopefully get rid of this dazed feeling. The sporiosis. Ooh, we get lots of sparkles in the shower. Whoa, okay. It looks like those spores are gone. So that's how you get rid of it. I'm also gonna call the property owner again. I wanna see if he actually does fix stuff that's wrong with the place. Okay, and then we can do some gardening out here. Wait, did our neighbors already take all the mushrooms that had grown here? Come on, those were meant to be our mushrooms. See, this is the problem of sharing a community garden. <sighs> oh, well, you did fix it. Thank you. Share some kind words. Thank you so much for fixing that. I appreciate it. Still not taking this off the list though. I feel like this is broken or glitched out. Why are you telling him about the time you peed yourself? Oh no. Oh, well, at least he liked that. He found it funny. That's good. He's got a good sense of humor. Got a good sense of humor. I do want to go to map view and see if we can see this cave anywhere. Oh, I literally just spotted a cave right here. So maybe if we travel to this lot and look into the distance, we can somehow get there. Let's get Chan Lin or Chan Li to come with us because we're going to be elder best friends. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Share kind words because that's what we do. We're such nice sims. And the life experiences you didn't want to hear last time. Oh, and I just realized they have matching hats. That is too cute. Oh, he did like that. That's, that's nice. Also, do you have any advice for us? The wise to the wise. These two could make a sweet couple, actually. Forgiveness is a virtue, but valuing your own boundaries is equally precious. Wow, that's significant. That's beautiful. All right, let's look into the distance and see if there's a cave anywhere. Uh, was the cave over here? How do we even get to this cave? Oh, here it is. How do we even get there, though? Are we going to have to swim across the seas? Because that's actually a pretty big swim. Oh, wow. Oppa's going in. Everybody, Oppa is going in with his phone. Hope he has a waterproof case. Is he gonna make it as an elder? Don't overexert yourself. How are your needs? Your needs are okay. Big swim. Oh, this just makes me wanna go to like the Wit Sundays. That's a place in Australia that has like crystal blue water like this. I've never been there before. Okay, I'm just gonna speed this up a bit. Wee! Okay, it looks like he's doing okay. He's a fit oppa. Okay, we're here. Wow, it's a cool, cool little island. I like that we had to swim across to get here. It makes it feel a little bit more adventurous. Where is this cave? Oh, got a collectible here. I want to get to the cave though. We can always come back for that. Oh, wow. Now that is a gorgeous little private beach. We're at the cave, you guys. The secret cave. What are we going to find in here? It's going in. Beautiful carvings. Locals have always ventured into Beard Beard Cove to soak in both the beauty and the history. Along with the eastern wall, Oppa Ungra finds cave carvings and drawings all splayed out. It tells a tale of war and triumph, if you're keen enough to decipher it. Try to decipher it. Oh, we got a blue tassel. The drawings depict the story of a battle fought long ago of beasts, tigers, and people. I'm guessing this cave is a great place to discover lore. The great mother embracing her alternate form as a tiger, found the tiger pack she had been searching for, fetching water from a trickling stream, asking for forgiveness and begging for their help. She promised her people would care for all tigers till the moon became the sun. They agreed to lend aid. Upon their return, the village clearing, a fierce battle ensued before the tiger pack and the wretched beasts that had been ravaging the land. Together, they began to push back on the invasion. But as time passed, the great mother could feel her powers waning. Just when it felt like the tides were turning for the worse, something unexpected happened. An elder mistakenly made his way into the open. A beast caught sight and lunged right for him. In the moment of sacrifice, the great mother dove between the two, using the last remnants of her powers to save her elder. With a splash from the beast, great mother was split in two, a human former and a human form and a tiger form. A piece of her soul remained within her cat counterpart. In fear of this revelation of power, the beasts retreated back into the depths of the forest. That's a nice story for Oppa to pass on. Gotta love that tiger law. We met Cassandra. Heck yes, get to know those goths. And we met Sydney as well. Oppa, how are you feeling after that cave search? Oh, okay, maybe we shouldn't litter the beach. How can you litter the beach when you're into Tomorani culture? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the cave another day. Oh, look at that lantern. Whee, 
how high does it go before it disappears? Oh wow, it keeps going. It goes pretty high. All right, Alpha, let's see if you can actually make it home before you, you know, before you park it. I'm sorry, but like, it's a lot for an L to hop. I'm gonna change the Dewey. Ah, eh, Dewey, welcome home. Welcome, welcome. And Woody actually needs to call in assistance again. I feel like this is just such a pointless task, even though it doesn't cost anything. Like what's the, what's the point of this? All right, at least we ticked that off the list today. Looks like your place doesn't need services. It definitely does not. Well, maybe we should invite a friend over from school, get to know someone. What about Zahafira? Because she's got the same hair as us. Oh, just come storming into our house. That's rude. Oh my gosh, you just bumped into Oppa. Let's give some advice. Uh, and that advice is, please don't knock over our bin. Uh, would you mind not knocking over my bin? Oh, she likes us from telling her that, okay. Well, what does tomering truth mean? Is this a way to figure out secrets? Tell me a secret about yourself. Why do we have the same hair? Tell me. With enough trust in one another, people are more likely to share what's deep within. Sure, if you snoop around, you could find things, but isn't it also nice to just make conversation with the people around you? Oh, so that's just being truthful with people, being nice to people. That's not as fun though. Let's complain about the bad fruitcake we were given. Oh my God, when we moved in, our neighbors brought the grossest fruitcake over ever. Alan is calling us. I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. Yeah, do it. I don't know what job you originally had, but sure. Ah, uh, Buddy's just almost at level three of handiness, which will hopefully help us make some more money more quickly. But I'm also thinking maybe Dewey should get a part-time job or maybe her part-time job is just blackmailing Sims. Dewey's still doing her homework out here and she's actually quite good friends with Safira for having just moved here. They feel close from good times and happy memories, I guess from school today, maybe yesterday and also tonight hanging out. So that's cool. And I feel like at school, me and all my friends we often had the same hairstyles because it was like what was cool. So I kind of like that as well. Oh no, toxic mold pile. A wild toxic mold pile has just appeared. Letting it fester could result in dire consequences. Clean dirty plumbing objects in a timely manner to ensure more mold doesn't grow. Clean dirty plumbing objects. As in like our shower in that. So where's this new pile? Here it is. This is a toxic one. I mean, none of our plumbing looks dirty per se. I mean, we can't even clean anything. So I don't think it's us that the problem. That's the problem. All right, let's go to sleep. We'll deal with this tomorrow. Okay, we've got to level three. So that should really help our earnings, which is excellent. Because if one day we want to save up and buy our own apartment lot and become a landlord, we're going to need some some money, some dollar dues. Also, with our tassel, what do we actually do with this? Well, we can combine the tassels. We need to have 10, one of each color, before we can combine them for a reward. That's exciting. I wonder what the reward's going to be. Oh! Gosh, it's grown. Yeah, look at this mold. It's even got particles, spores floating off of it. This is giving me Last of Us vibes. I wonder if we can still just clean it. Yay, we got promoted. Excellent, to hotshot helper. We made $200. We have new clothes. Excellent. I'm so glad we have our, our mold outfit. Those mushrooms are so nasty. <laughs> Oh, yuck. Actually, it makes me feel a little sick watching this, to be honest. And I feel like Oppa shouldn't be cleaning it. I feel like Oppa's at a higher risk of being sick. Well, the good news is we were able to clean it up just from a good scrub. Oh, there's more of it over here. Poor Oppa. Right, let's do another day from home. So from cleaning up, I think our rental rating just went up. Uncomfortable from mild moldenitis. Too much mold exposure has caused Oppa to develop the moldenitis. Oh, Oppa. At least they have each other to get them through this tough time of the mold. Our work from home assignment today is to restore newness. Find a worn household object or at home or in a shared space and select restore newness. Do we have anything that's worn? Oh, here we go. Restore newness. It kind of looks new to me. Does it just make it shiny? What does this do? I don't know what it did, but apparently it's new again. Oh, more mold. This mold is like a serious problem. It just keeps popping up everywhere. Okay, well, let's sell everything because we need to level up. 
gardening. We need to level up handiness skill. Plants around here are dying. It appears some sickly blight has started to sneak into your garden pots. Call the property owner to sort out the problem or attempt to get rid of it yourself. Oh, blighted carrot plant. Oh gosh. Is this because this is the mold situation still? We have to spray everything now? Oh, we sorted it out. Phew, and our unit rating went up. So I guess the mold isn't all bad because it actually is a great way for you to get your unit rating up. Well, I think since Oppa has had such a tough time with all of this mold, why don't we boil the new kettle here and see if there's some new teas we can drink. All right, our kettle is ready. So we can make coffee. Ooh, dark roast, light roast, medium roast, poppy luwak. Hot cocoa we can make with marshmallows, yummy. Or we can have tea. The world's finest hot water. My grandmother used to always have silver tea, which is like just hot water. So you can always ask for a silver tea. A steaming ginseng builder's tea. Run oolong. I think that's new with this pack. And the rainbow berry unicorn galaxy tea. Okay, we're definitely trying that because I want to see what it looks like. Oh, look at this mug. It's actually got a unicorn on it. I think that's the uni- Ooh, and it's rainbow. Oh, yum. Does this actually exist in real life? Like a rainbow tea? That looks delicious. I imagine it's going to give us a little moodlet down here. Oh, yes. We're feeling very playful. Ride the unicorn. Embrace the unicorn. Seal of the splendor of the galaxy. There might be a bit more caffeine in this drink than what- Opera expected. So it sounds like it's highly caffeinated. Now I feel really weird about the mushrooms in the game because they're technically a fungus. So I'm just gonna use the mushrooms as fertilizer because I don't want to eat them or sell them. Well, I might finish this part right here and in the next part we can go to the night market tonight. We can maybe do some snooping and eavesdropping so Dewey can have a bit of fun and also get the mischief skill level up to level two, which will help the school. Doesn't sound like it would help, but it does. Um, so thanks for watching you guys. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe and turn on notifications to see every new part of this series as well as my other videos. Thank you so much to my wonderful members for supporting this channel. You can become a member by clicking the link in the description down below for bonus videos and also emotes to use in comments and in live streams. So thank you to my members, appreciate you guys, and as always I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world, and I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Dag dag! <laughs>